Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Kaleidoscope. Oh, and by the way, if you want to share this with your friends, go to Filminary on Facebook, find my video feed that you'll see, press share, and you can put it up on your page too. The more people share it, the more people see it.
Thank you all so much for coming out. Let me turn this stuff off. I'm making all this racket. Okay. Okay, as is customary here in Kaleidoscope, it's your turn to have a little bit of conversation. Okay, dokie. Questions, comments, observations? What you thinking? Go ahead. I love the way the fact that, uh, that the intensity got started in the very beginning. The same intensity was throughout the very intense, very alive, very pointed, all the way slow down maybe, you know, as you have you know, dynamic, you know, the softness, dancing. What else you got? Don't be shy. You can ask questions. There's a lot of really talented, smart people standing in front of you. They were free to share all of their stuff, what they're thinking. What th
Well, speaking for me, I don't really give a shit. Like, it happens as it happens, it unfolds as it unfolds, and once, once you realize that it's not yours to control, or be in charge of, I guess is a, another way to say the same thing, then you're free to contribute to something greater than yourself. And so all of us sort of just kind of work in that direction. So there's no wrong, there's no right, there just is. Um, I'm a young dude, so like that's my whole mindset up in here. <laughs> um, as well as you know many other people when they were younger. Um, I'm learning, and I'm gotten pretty far in not doing that, <laughs> and that's made me a better musician, you know, in the long run. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just starting to you know climb up top of that hill. Um, but it's refreshing to hear that at least one one of you guys still say yes to that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it's like it's not like a hard yes, but more like a yeah, okay, I do it. Yeah. yeah. Vincent's fourteen, by the way. And speaking of that, I should introduce everybody. To my left, DJ Crate Digger. <laughs> On the congas, Vincent Mad Jane Maneri. <laughs> On drums and all kinds of shit that you hit, Andre Scott. <laughs> the dancers up here, and you'll have to point each other out because you look all the same to me from where I'm standing. Kelsey Lee. Alicia Lee Han. <laughs> Chloe Napolitano. <laughs> Back there on video treatments for Obelisk, Pelham Johnson. <laughs> and tonight's artist du jour, Lance Johnson. <laughs> and I am Phil Maneri, and you all know that. Okay, you want to make some more noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, why don't you guys start something? Well, as we go into this next piece, to touch on the last question you had, <clears throat> even though like you always have those experiences as you get better and more practice in whatever you're doing, but at a certain point, no matter age or generally speaking, skill set. Thank you. 
How about that? Right. Now it's your turn. What do you got? What's, your, what's on your mind? Ask questions. Tell us something. Go ahead. It is now. It is now. <laughs> no. The, uh, the whole idea here is that we're just making shit up. And uh, the only structure is this clock right here that marks out 20 minutes. Uh, other than that, there's no rules. There's no right. There's no wrong. Else you got. I have a technical question for Lisa uh, regarding conspiracies. So is this like your own concoction or is it like you know well known that we're gonna be using this for communication? It's actually watercolor. Watercolor, oh good. Oh, good. It's so bad. <laughs> it goes on really cool. 
Well, that's awesome. Thank you all so much for participating. I think it's time for us to move on. Shall we uh, make some more racket? Who's yeah. starting? I'll start. Okay. You gotta have the same kind of persona to be in the woods, though, man. Like. Them, 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 them woods though, man, you be in there, them leaves be, them leaves be, them leaves be crinkling under your feet and shit.
never, never, never miss a beat. Another fine piece, and we have time for one more, but uh, before we do the last little bit, any other things that anybody has to share? I think uh, it just sort of depends on what we're doing. <clears throat> I think all of us are paying attention. This particular one is a little easier for that interaction to happen because we can see everything that everybody's doing. We've done some other ones where it was a little more discombobulated. <clears throat> um, certainly informs what we're doing and cross-pollinates, but a lot of times I think we get involved in our own little thing too. What's up, baby? Next time. What else you got? <laughs> Me too. How did you get there? <laughs> so, the most concise answer is um, I've been listening to music basically all my life um, in, in more than it just kind of came on the radio way. Um, and then around before second grade, I started didn't formally do one thing because I saw a band. Mom said, I'm not having you cheating on my pops all day, so I bought like that's when I got my first like ticket price from. Second grade, third grade-ish, when I moved to Columbus, I began learning how to drum in the context of West African percussion. And so, culturally speaking, I didn't learn kind of like the rudimentary core forward of music. I learned how all these different drums are playing something different in the context of polyrhythm, and it's 
rhythmic, so when I'm just making noise, but I can't expect to hear what I'm playing right here. I have to know what I'm playing and know how it fits with this next verse from across the choir. It all should be something different, so we have to know how those go together. Jumping forward, having grown up listening to soul, funk, R&B, classics, going to private school throughout elementary and middle school, and having that classical music education for me, growing up in the time I grew up with hip hop as my social musical language, like all those things come together. So when I hear music or when I experience music, like I'm thinking about seven different levels and layers of what goes, what can go here, what influences, what informs. So I don't know if we were here for the very beginning, but even though we didn't have a plan, we knew we were going to start from an abstract space. And nothing about music is any simpler than vibration or energy. So then you, once you understand that, you kind of dig through your card catalog of music knowledge and like, oh shit, I got a sample of E, this is a square. So now we can incorporate the concept of music being vibrations and energy and bring in these samples and then how this feeds here and then how I can layer what I'm doing with Vinny and then I can bounce back to what Phil's doing, what Phil's doing and then we can break it down and I can talk back and forth with the, the trap drummer and then still have my own space as a another musician on the stage where I'm not responsible for holding anybody else up in the context of I have to let this thing play so everybody else can do their thing and I'm still free to move about. So hopefully that kind of answers the question without us answering. I love that you said that um, it's really versatile because I've heard of people trying to create and I actually was <laughs> I'm sure I was doing that. <laughs> I played his last week, likely. So. We love you, Trey. Yes, we do. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna do five more minutes.
That brings us to the end of another Kaleidoscope, and I thank you all so much for coming out. Let's give a great big hand for <laughs> DJ Crate Digger, <laughs> Vincent Mad Chain Maneri, <laughs> Andre Scott, <laughs> Lance Johnson, <laughs> Kelsey Lee. <laughs> Alicia Lee Hahn. <laughs> Chloe Napolitano. Back in the corner, the Wizard of Oz, Pelham Johnson. I'm your host, Phil Maneri. Thank you for coming to another Kaleidoscope. We'll see you again next month.